hi great youtubers welcome back this is our Arduino PLC based water filling machine today we will be programming it with the Arduino IDE this has been a wish of some of my cherished subscribers let's get started Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you will always be notified whenever I upload new videos. This is the circuitry. We have the output devices. This is the conveyor belt, the pump, and then the buzzer. We have the inputs. That's our start stop push button. We have our bottle detection sensor. And then we have the end of conveyor sensor as well. This is the setup. We have the bottle detection sensor. We have the end of conveyor sensor. We have the control board, which is our Arduino PLC. And then we have the filling tube. Okay, we move on and write our code. So we define our pins. So we have our pump on pin 8. Define BC01 on pin 7. BC that's our buzzer on pin 11 we have our start on pin 2 we have our stop on pin 3 and then we have our bottle sensor on pin 4 and then finally the end sensor on pin 5 we now do a declaration of our variables so we have the bits the conveyor bits and we set it at 0 and this is the conveyor enable bits and we say boo fill in enable we have a fill in enable bit also sets at zero we have a long and this are previous millis and this is to store our previous millis and we have long the fill in time and we set it at five seconds we set our counter we have our setup and we say setup dot begin eleven five two hundred setup dot print line and then we have welcome Arduino PLC bottle filling system and then now we declare our pins so we say pin mode and this is our output pin I copy this and then this is our pump pin mode we have our conveyor pin mode we have our buzzer and now move on and declare the input pins it's a pin mode inputs and then we need to pull up and then I copy and paste we have four of them this is our start this is our stop this is the bottle sensor and then end of conveyor sensor now I compile or verify and then there are errors I correct them and then verify again okay it's done within the loop we'll look at the algorithm behind it to do that our start when the start is pressed we need to start the conveyor when stop is pressed we need to stop the whole system and now when the bottle is detected by the sensor we need to stop the conveyor and then start filling and then when the filling time elapses we need to start the conveyor again and then when the end of conveyor sensor is activated we need to stop the conveyor and then turn on the buzzer and then finally when the bottle is removed the conveyor starts again so we can fill the next bottle so see this is the steps of instruction that we need to code okay first of all I would like to read all the inputs into variables so I say send input commands into variables so our first variable boo start button 
and then I read the digital read that's our stats and then we have boo stop button equal to digital read stop we have boo button and then we read it as such that's the bottle sensor and then boo end of conveyor sensor and then we read it digital read and sensor okay good we now move on and then look at our first instruction now let's add a bit of code so we say that if start button is equal equals low then we need to do something we say digital write the conveyor high that is starting of the conveyor and then we set the bits also high we now move on to the stop and then write a bit of code there as well I copy the same set of code and then paste it at this particular point I need to change the start to stop and then also the high to low and then set the bit low and now verify there is a bit of error I need to correct it and then verify again okay verification done I download I click on the download and then we can test it on the board and then you can see when I place the container and then click on start the conveyor moves and then when I press the stop the conveyor stops as well okay this section of the code is working we move on and then this time when the bottle is detected so we say that if bottle sensor equals equals low and bottle enable bits equals equals high and then the filling enable also equals equals low then we need to do something we say the guitar right the conveyor low so we stop the conveyor and then we say delay for 200 milliseconds and then dig it out right we start the pump to start the filling and then we give some information so we say serial print filling starts third and then we read the previous millis the millis into the previous millis variable okay so now we need to do some timing so we say wow well, bottle sensor equals equals low and the guitar read the pump we need to read the status of the pump if it's high then we do something we say the bottle sensor we read the bottle sensor status into the variable and then we say that on sign long the current millis will be equal to millis and then we bring another condition if current millis minus previous millis Is greater than the filling time which is five seconds then we need to do something we say that we save the the current millis into the previous millis and then say the guitar right pump low we stop the pump the guitar right conveyor high we start the conveyor once again and then the filling enable we activate it and then give some information on the serial interface filling done and then filling bottle counter will also display the count value we need to turn the pump off anytime the bottle is removed whilst filling so we say if bottle enable equals equals high then the guitar writes pump low okay to prevent spillage okay we compile we have a bit of errors i correct the first one compiled correct this very one as well and then verify again and then the last one there's one also here I correct it filling time and then the final one also here I correct it from capital to small B okay compilation is done I download into the system and then we give it a test press on start okay we can see that it has stopped and then move on to the next worked perfectly the timing is working correctly now I need to reset the filling variable so else 
and then we say that the filling enable equals to zero okay good this section is already done so i paste it at the top and then we say if end of sensor equals equals low and then the conveyor equals equals high then we need to do something we say digital right we turn the belt conveyor off and then the guitar right we turn the buzzer on delay for one second and then turn the buzzer off okay and then delay for one second so we have a beep from the buzzer okay and then the filling enable bits we set it low okay and then finally if end sensor equals equals high that's when we know that the bottle has been removed and then the belt conveyor is also enable bit is also high then we say the guitar right the conveyor high we start the conveyor once again to fill the next bottle okay I verify okay no errors and then I download into the PLC okay downloading done and now we give it a test I place a bottle and then I press on the start and we can see it has stopped we can see it's not working correctly there is a bug in the code so let's move on and look at this bug this very side is having the bug we need to change this to this very one and we will be okay okay i change it and then click on the upload the uploading done and then i give it a test again start okay we can see it's waiting for five seconds and then it moves on which means the bug has been fixed the buzzer comes on and i have to take the bottle off and then the conveyor starts again now i turn the pump on and then give it a real test okay it stops the pump now starts start filling and we can see that we've only filled halfway which is our delay time is too short or our filling time is too short so i move on and change it to seven seconds because i realize seven seconds can fill up my bottle okay i download once again or upload uploading done we now give it a test i place the bottle and then press the start button okay filling started okay great we can see that it's at the level that we want the next bottle comes in position filling starts again okay end of conveyor has been detected i take it off this one moves to the end of conveyor i'll take that one also off as well so that the next one can move into position for filling wow great We've been able to achieve the same thing that we achieved with the uh, Visrino, with the Adreno IDE as well. You can see how you were able to program this particular system with various interfaces. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.